I wanted to try to carry on or, or honor his memory. It's been almost five months since John Mundell was killed by a hit and run driver on Highway 107 in Sherwood. We still don't have answers. Um, we still don't know who hit him. His wife, Kimberly Mundell, says she is still searching for closure. You know, as of a couple weeks ago, they're still getting leads, which is which is still great. But Kimberly is working to find something good to come of this by pushing for bike lanes in Sherwood. Now, Sherwood really, you know, doesn't really have many, if any, bike lanes. She says she wants the city to look at ways it can connect trails to surrounding areas. For those cyclists like John, who, you know, could, could ride long distances, Having a connectivity um, among cities with Sherwood, and Little Rock, North Little Rock would be a great opportunity for cyclists. We don't have any bike lanes. We don't have any bike trails. Mary Jo High is a city council member and says Sherwood will be getting its first bike lane soon. We will definitely be getting them on the new construction of Maryland. But she says the city needs to do more. We need to look for opportunities and for grants in which we can utilize those type of connections. It's not just about cyclists. It's about safety for pedestrians and for, for everybody. Kimberly says she is also pushing for the city to apply for more grants and a cycling committee. And that's something that Little Rock has that um, I found out about that I think would be a great resource. She says any change for cyclists would mean a lot to her. If I can give back in some way um, to promote cycling safety, it, it may keep other cyclists safe on the roads, but also um, bring honor and memory to John.